Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're continuing our Windows Security App look back to Windows 11 and in the Security App, Windows Security App in Windows 11, the next option is Account Protection. Account Protection has to do with everything that is available to make sure that the account that you have on Windows is as secure as possible. So when you click on it in Windows 11, you have the information about the account you're signed in with on your PC. You can click view the account information. You also have the manage sync settings, which tells you which settings are going to sync with your computer. And so it sends you to the uh, different syncing uh, options. Now, one of the things about the um, Windows Security app in Windows um, in in Windows 11 is that often you're not sent to the correct page. For example, I'll show you here. The next option is Windows Hello. It says Manage Sign In Options because there's different options of the Windows Hello, which is Microsoft's own features for uh, you know uh, logging in or signing in to your accounts that require other another way of signing in like biometrics like you know fingerprint and so on that could be more secure than just a password when you click on manage sign in options it brings you to the general page of the uh, uh, settings app which is dumb because in windows 10 it actually brings you directly to the accounts page so here in the accounts page you will have the sign in options uh, for windows hello and all of that so you go here to check out the Windows Hello options. Uh, facial rec recognition, once again, you have to have a compatible camera for that. If, the, if you do, it's something you can try. Um, then there's a fingerprint reader or fingerprint recognition. These two first options are the most secure of all uh, with the, th the fourth option security key also being very, very good. And, of course, you can also use a PIN if you want to sign in fast into your account and not having to remember a very complex password like I do use, which means that it's so difficult and I have so many of them that it's easy to forget. So a PIN makes it easy. It you know still logs into your computer, but it does it in a different way. So that's the different uh, Windows Hello options that you have available. And finally, you have the um, dynamic lock. Once again, dynamic lock is a setting that requires a phone with Bluetooth. And what happens is that the dynamic lock setting will check to see if you're away and bring you to the, cor to the correct, uh, you know, lock your, your computer, sorry, to the correct, um, you know, um, distance that you might be moving away from if your computer's not you know is in a room with a lot of other people that you're actually using uh, the PC then you know dynamic lock could be an interesting feature because what happens is that it will prevent your account from being used by others if you forget to lock it before you leave so dynamic lock is also in the sign in options in the uh, settings app and uh, once again, when you click, it doesn't bring you there. You have to, to know that it actually brings you to the main page. You have to go to the accounts page yourself. And in the accounts page, you have the sign in options. And here you'll have the dynamic lock. It's extremely dumb that they don't bring you there automatically, like in Windows 10. So these are the options for the sign in and to protect your account as much as possible on a PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.